Let's hear it from the comedians. Come on. There you go.
Now, it's a well-known fact that studies have shown that research indicates that when you break up with somebody and then get back together with them, usually what happens the second time around is you live together forever and ever in a magical kingdom surrounded by butterflies and unicorns. So anyway, I, uh, well, you know what I did. I got back together with her. And I knew what was going to happen. I knew. I don't just mean the writing was on the wall. I mean the writing was on the wall and my better judgment got me in a headlock, dragged me over to the wall and said, hey, look at that writing, you moron. And so, I fell back into a dream whose sweetness was now more but a certainty that I would have to wake up from it sooner rather than later. I prepared for it, and because it was her, I prepared for it to be arbitrary and illogical. But I guess I wasn't really prepared at all when she called me up that one day and said she didn't think things were going to work out after all because she wasn't feeling it, and I quote, with every fiber of my being. Who talks like that? I felt like telling her that maybe some brand flakes would put more fiber in her being, but I didn't. Instead, I walked back out into the daylight, more quickly this time, without looking over my shoulder. And I told myself that the prisoner of Shion was a fool for not appreciating his liberty. But the thing is, I have a feeling she's going to call me up, call me up and try the third times to join me. And I really hope she does. I really do, because this time I will be. I know exactly what I will say and exactly how I will say it. I will see her prison and raise her a fortress. I'll show her that I've learned my lesson a little slow, maybe a little quicker than she expected. Show her that she'll never touch me again. So yeah, I really hope she will.